Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. Today I'm in a 2012 Land Rover Defender. This has had a humongous upgrade audio system done here. Probably one of the best sound defenders in the UK. Big claim I know, but hey, I'm biased. We did it. But this video is only a short video to show you the Kenwood system. I'm sure I'll give you a quick run through what we also have done. But the main thing is, we'll start at the front. This customer had came into us with a Kenwood, sorry, a Pioneer flip-up screen. Wasn't happy too much because what it did is when it, the screen was in the up position, it obscures the hazard switches are here. So what we've done is we've converted this dashboard to a double DIN to allow the Kenwood to fit. And then what happens is the buttons get relocated to the right here. So you've got your hazard switch, you've got your rear wiper, your rear fog, everything is on the right hand side. That is actually to do with the audio system. That is an independent controller for the subwoofer we fitted, but more to come on that. But this is the top of the range Kenwood DNX 9190. This is the best model Kenwood actually do. We've also installed a phone cradle for the customer so they can just slide their phone straight in and it docks on the charging point. Nice, neat way of having a cradle in the car. But let me turn the ignition on so you can actually see this on. Naturally, you're gonna get the Land Rover logo come up as we've, as we've added on. We've also flushed two USBs in the route where the original cigar socket is just for neatness. This is the home screen for Apple CarPlay. So you've got a capacitive touch screen. This is a 720p HD screen on this. So resolution for CarPlay is phenomenal. Got Apple Maps now, Google Maps, TomTom Tom Maps, Waze Naps. And if all of them weren't enough, you've also got the full built-in Garmin navigation, full European Maps built in as well. So without your phone connected, you've still got full navigation, nice and reliable. So if your phone ever gets no coverage, you can then still use uh, still use that nav. This has got HDMI in as well you can use. So if you want to expand on it, you can plug an Amazon Fire Stick into the HDMI input. It's got a motorized panel as well. So if you weren't happy with the angle of the screen being completely flat, you can choose not one, not two, not three, not four, but five different angles to tilt it up towards you. And if you've got a transporter, you can even invert it. So that way, if the glare on the screen isn't going to be a problem. The reason why it also does that is because when you push your jet button and go to open, you've also still got a CD and DVD player and an SD card slot. So this unit has so many options, but it is the top of the range DNX 9190 with every feature possible.